swamps, at first glance, seem like just a pool of mud. Yes, sure, but when you get to explore these swamps, you will find crazy stuff like glowing mushrooms and even an abandoned lodge. Don't believe? Well, put your seatbelts on because this video is going to get crazy. Number one, giant snake. In 2020, hunters in Florida found a massive Burmese python, 18 feet, nine inches long. These snakes have become a big problem in Florida because people release them into the wild. The hunters caught the python as part of a plan to control their numbers. It's risky to catch these snakes because they're dangerous predators. But the hunters were trained and got $150 for each snake they caught. Will you catch one for that much? Number two, bryozoan colonies. Bryozoan colonies are these unique organisms commonly found in many freshwater ecosystems. These colonies have a jelly-like texture because of the gelatinous material produced by the individual zooids within them. Each microscopic aquatic invertebrate, or zooid, is typically less than 1 25th inch in length. Despite often being overlooked, bryozoans play a crucial role in their ecosystems. They grow in clonal colonies with individual zooids attached to a surface, and these colonies can expand rapidly to include thousands of zooids. Each zooid has a unique way of filtering food from the water using ciliated tentacles to capture small particles of food which are then ingested through the mouth. Bryozoans reproduce both sexually and asexually. New colonies can form through asexual budding, where zooids break away and establish new individuals. They can also produce free-swimming larvae that settle on a surface to create new colonies. Briozoans are found in both marine and freshwater environments, although most species are marine. Some freshwater species, such as the magnificent Briozoan, Pectinotella magnifica, have been identified. These organisms have a significant ecological impact by increasing water clarity through filtering suspended organic material and aiding in seed dispersal and forest regeneration. Number three, glow in the dark mushrooms. The Pantanal is home to some mushrooms that glow in the dark, creating an eerie atmosphere. These bioluminescent mushrooms are a rare and fascinating sight, attracting both tourists and scientists. These glowing mushrooms are found in the Pantanal, a large tropical wetland in South America that stretches across Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay. Their glow comes from a chemical reaction involving luciferin and luciferase, different from fluorescence. This effect creates an eerie atmosphere at night, making them a captivating sight for visitors and researchers. Bioluminescent mushrooms are relatively rare, making them a unique and special experience for those who see them. Scientists are especially interested in studying these glowing mushrooms to understand how they produce light and how it helps them survive. These mushrooms play an important role in their ecosystems by providing food for various animals and helping break down organic matter. Number four, the giant water lily. The giant water lily, known scientifically as Victoria Amazonica, is a plant species found in the Pantanal region of South America. This plant can grow leaves up to two meters in diameter, making it a notable presence in the Pantanal wetlands. Some of the leaves can even reach up to three meters across. These large, flat leaves are supported by strong stalks that can be up to eight meters long and have rib-like structures to keep them rigid. The leaves are so sturdy that they can support the weight of small animals and even humans, thanks to their solid structure and the gelatinous material that helps them float. The giant water lily is native to the Pantanal, a region larger than England and home to a rich variety of plant and animal species. In the wetland ecosystem, the giant water lily competes with other plants for light and nutrients. Its unique pollination mechanism involves flowers that open at night and are pollinated by nocturnal beetles, which the plant traps overnight. After releasing the beetle, the flowers turn pink, which makes them less attractive to other pollinators. The leaves of the giant water lily grow quickly once they reach the water's surface, pushing aside other plants to access light. A single plant can produce up to 50 leaves in one season, covering a large area of water with its huge leaves. Number five, the Louisiana sinkhole. The Louisiana sinkhole, located near Bayou Corn in Louisiana, USA, is an example of natural geological activity that has great effects on 
on the environment and local communities. This massive sinkhole formed due to the collapse of salt domes beneath the area, a common occurrence in regions with substantial salt deposits. The sinkhole rapidly expanded to over 300 feet in diameter and 422 feet deep, engulfing trees, water, and soil. This swift growth posed a serious threat to the surrounding area. The first signs of trouble appeared when residents noticed unusual bubbling in the water and felt tremors shaking the ground. These early warnings raised concerns, leading to the dispatch of emergency workers to the site. While they were there, the sinkhole dramatically expanded, swallowing large portions of land and demonstrating the sheer power of geological forces. Number six, the blue mystery creature. The blue mystery creature is a puzzling animal that has caught everyone's attention after being spotted drinking water in a swamp. Its unusual blue color has led people to wonder where it came from and what it is. Some think the blue color could be due to genetic changes or mutations, which are rare but can cause strange and striking appearances in animals. Another idea is that certain environmental factors like minerals or pollutants in the water or soil might have given the creature its blue color. It could even be a mix of both genetics and the environment. The blue color also reminds people of various myths and legends. In many cultures, blue is a special color often linked to the supernatural or divine. Some myths say blue creatures are connected to water gods, representing calmness and peace. Others believe blue signifies mystical powers or a link to the otherworldly, adding to the craze and speculation about about this creature. Number seven, the skunk ape. The skunk ape is a mysterious creature that is rumored to live in the marshlands near Tampa, Florida. Similar to Bigfoot, it has been a part of local stories for a long time. The skunk ape gained attention when a strange human-like figure was captured on camera. At first, some thought it might be a bear because of its large, dark, and furry appearance. However, after examining the footage and listening to eyewitnesses, experts suggested it was something else. A park ranger, familiar with local wildlife, Wildlife, said the creature didn't look like any known animal in the swamps, adding to the belief that it might be the mythical skunk ape. Number 8. Carnivorous Bog Plants Carnivorous bog plants are examples of nature's adaptability, with the sundew plant, genus Drosera, being a particularly notable example. The sundew is a carnivorous plant that thrives in nutrient-poor environments by trapping and digesting insects. The sundew captures its prey using sticky tentacles covered in a strong, adhesive, and digestive enzymes. These glistening droplets look like morning dew, giving the plant its name. When an insect lands on the plant, it gets stuck in the sticky tentacles. What's really interesting about the the sundew is how it catches and digests its prey. The plant's leaves are very sensitive to touch. When an insect is trapped, the nearby tentacles slowly bend toward the prey, increasing contact with the digestive enzymes. This movement, called thigmotropism, is the plant's response to touch. The digestive enzymes then break down the insect's soft tissues, allowing the plant to absorb essential nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus, which are hard to come by in its native bog habitat. Number nine, the discovery of the Clotilda. The discovery of the Clotilda shipwreck in the Mobile River, Alabama, is a significant event in American history, illuminating a dark chapter involving the illegal slave trade. The Clotilda was the last known ship to bring enslaved Africans to the United States, doing so 50 years after the trans Atlantic slave trade was outlawed. In 1860, the Clotilda transported 110 Africans to Mobile, Alabama, despite the international slave trade being banned by the act prohibiting importation of slaves in 1808. This illegal voyage was part of a secret operation led by Captain William Foster and plantation owner Timothy Meher. Upon arrival, to hide their crime, the crew scuttled and burned the ship in the Mobile River. The Clotilda remained hidden for over over 150 years until it was discovered in 2019. Identifying the shipwreck was a crucial moment for historians and descendants of the Clotilda's survivors, providing solid evidence of the ship's existence and the terrible journey endured by those aboard. The discovery has also helped clarify historical narratives around the formation of Africatown, a community established by Clotilda's survivors. Africatown was founded by these survivors who, after emancipation, created a self-sustaining community to 
to preserve their African culture and heritage. Number 10. Mark 15 Nuclear Bomb in 1958, a U.S. Air Force B-47 bomber carrying a 7,600-pound Mark 15 nuclear bomb collided with an F-86 fighter jet during a training exercise over Tybee Island, Georgia. To avoid a crash and potential explosion, the B-47 pilot dropped the bomb into the waters off Tybee Island before safely landing the damaged plane. Despite a thorough 10-week search by the Air Force and Navy, the bomb was never found. It is believed to be buried under five to 15 feet of silt in Wausau Sound off the Georgia coast. The Mark 15 bomb had a plutonium trigger and was a fully functional nuclear weapon at the time. However, the Air Force claims the bomb's nuclear capsule was not inserted, reducing the risk of radioactive contamination. Environmental monitoring has not detected elevated radiation levels in the area, suggesting the bomb has not leaked radioactive material. Still, concerns remain about its condition and the potential for radio radioactive leakage as the weapon's casing and explosives degrade over time. 65 years later, the lost Tybee Island bomb continues to intrigue and concern people. Theories about its fate include it being recovered by Soviet submarines or being deeply buried under sediment. Number 11. An Abandoned Lodge Urban explorers stumbled upon an abandoned lodge deep within a swamp, sparking curiosity about its former residents and their lifestyle in such a remote spot. The lodge, fully furnished and appearing recently inhabited, poses a puzzling mystery due to its isolated setting surrounded by swampy terrain. Urban exploration involves exploring abandoned and off-limits places, often involving trespassing and navigating through dark, risky areas. These adventurous explorers document their findings, preserving forgotten history and locations. Though the exact location of the lodge is undisclosed, its presence prompts questions about the lives and choices of its past inhabitants. Number 12. Warrior Army in Denmark The discovery of an ancient warrior army in Denmark's East Jutland has sparked major interest among archaeologists. The site contains the remains of hundreds of warriors who met violent ends along with their weapons. Dating back to the Viking Age, the site suggests either a significant historical battle or a ritual sacrifice. The warriors were buried following Viking traditions with their weapons and other belongings placed alongside them. This discovery offers valuable insights into Viking warriors' lives and practices, revealing details about their military tactics, social structures, and cultural beliefs. What's really cool is that archaeologists can learn about the individuals who fought and died at the site, as well as Viking society as a whole. Various methods, including strontium isotope analysis, have been used to extensively study the site. These analyses have shown that many warriors came from areas outside Denmark, like Norway or Slavic territories. This suggests complex alliances and conflicts during the Viking Age. Number 13. The Common Snapping Turtle The Common Snapping Turtle and the Alligator Snapping Turtle are both tough freshwater turtles famous for their strong jaws and predatory behavior. They look similar, with tough, muscular bodies and a ridged shell that can be tan, brown, or black. Their shell length usually ranges from 25 to 47 centimeters when they're adults, though it can sometimes reach up to 50 centimeters. Male turtles are typically bigger than females, weighing between 4.5 to 16 kilograms. Alligator snapping turtles are even larger, with some weighing between 155 to 175 pounds. Both types of snapping turtles are omnivores, meaning they eat a mix of plants and animals. They munch on bugs, fish, frogs, and other reptiles like snakes and smaller turtles, birds, and small mammals. Alligator snapping turtles have a neat trick. They've got a worm-like thing in their mouth that they use to lure prey. Besides hunting actively, snapping turtles also eat dead animals and plants, showing they can handle different kinds of food. Snapping turtles are known for their strong, beak-like jaws, which can hurt if they bite you. They're usually calm in the water, but they might snap if they feel threatened on land. Even though they seem scary, snapping turtles are super important in their ecosystems as top predators. Number 14. Porcelain Dolls In November 2014, the Otago County Sheriff's Office stumbled upon a strange find in Bear Creek Swamp, located between Prattville and Otogaville, Alabama. They discovered 21 porcelain dolls. Their delicate features, illuminated by the eerie glow of the swamp, 
attached to bamboo stakes, which stirred unease among the local community. The dolls, with their hair painted a ghostly white, were seen floating in the murky waters, causing concern and speculation on social media. Responding to the growing unease, the Otago County Sheriff's Office stepped in to retrieve the unsettling artifacts. Bear Creek Swamp has a history steeped in local folklore and is known for being haunted. Tales of odd happenings and mysterious sightings have created an aura of mystery around the swamp, attracting curious visitors eager to experience the supernatural. The discovery of the porcelain dolls only added to the mystique of Bear Creek Swamp. Initially dismissed as a Halloween prank, the doll's unsettling appearance and the swamp's eerie reputation led to widespread speculation about their purpose and origin. People wondered if they were part of a macabre art project, a sinister warning, or something even more mysterious. Number 15. Bog Butter A discovery in Ireland has shown us ancient ways of preserving food and the amazing durability of dairy products. A 22-pound lump of what is believed to be butter, called bog butter, was found in a peat bog, where it had been kept for an incredible 2,000 years. Despite its age, the bog butter is still edible, though it has a very strong flavor and smell, similar to cheese. Its texture and aroma have led people to call it bog butter. This ancient dairy product shows how peat bogs can preserve food for a long time because they are cool, low in oxygen, and very acidic, which stops spoilage and decomposition. Burying butter in bogs dates back to the Iron Age, with some pieces being over 5,000 years old. Number 16, Shade Swamp Sanctuary. In Farmington, Connecticut, near US Route 6 and New Britain Avenue, you'll find the remains of the Shade Swamp Sanctuary. This once busy wildlife haven was established in the 1930s to help injured animals recover and return to the wild. At its peak, the sanctuary was home to various animals like birds, wolves, and bears. It also had a breeding program for raccoons and rabbits. Over time, people started bringing in exotic pets they could no longer care for, including monkeys, an alligator, and even a baby giraffe from a stranded carnival. By the late 1930s, the breeding program had ended and the sanctuary slowly fell out of use. It was officially abandoned by the state in the 1960s. Today, nature has taken over much of the area with rusted cages and overgrown vegetation showing signs of the past. There are still signs of its history. A wooden shelter built by the Civilian Conservation Corps in 1934 still stands. The area is now part of the Shade Swamp Nature Trail, where visitors can walk the paths and see remnants of the sanctuary's past. Number 17, the Pantanal. The Pantanal comes alive at night with nocturnal creatures offering visitors a glimpse into the secret world of the wetlands after dark. Among the highlights are potus, night jars, and owls, each with their own unique adaptations and behaviors that make them cool subjects for night tours in the Pantanal. Potus are birds with camouflage and the ability to freeze in place when threatened. They blend seamlessly into their surroundings, making them a thrilling challenge to spot amidst the foliage of the Pantanal. Night jars also known as goat suckers, are another highlight of nighttime expeditions. With their distinctive calls echoing through the darkness, these nocturnal birds swoop and glide in search of insects and small animals, providing an enthralling spectacle for visitors lucky enough to witness their aerial displays. Owls are the iconic nocturnal predators of the Pantanal. With their keen eyesight and silent flight, these birds hunt for small prey under the cover of darkness. Coming across them is a memorable part of any night tour. Number 18. The Windover Cemetery. The Windover Cemetery in Florida is an incredible archaeological find, offering deep insights into the lives of ancient people. Dating back about 7,000 to 8,000 years, it predates famous landmarks like the Great Pyramids of Egypt and King Tutankhamun's tomb, making it one of the world's most important archaeological discoveries. At the bottom of a pond, the cemetery holds the remains of 168 individuals, carefully buried in peat. Around half of these bodies still have intact brains, 
thanks to the unique preservation conditions provided by the peat's acidity and neutral pH levels. The excavation revealed that the Windover people were part of a well-fed society with little evidence of violent deaths, suggesting they lived relatively peacefully. One of the most fascinating aspects of this discovery is the insight into their medical practices. The remains show signs of arthritis, osteoporosis, and spina bifida. The Windover people used berries with pain-relieving and anti anti-rheumatic properties, indicating some of the earliest known examples of medicine. DNA analysis of the brain tissue has provided valuable genetic information about these early inhabitants, offering clues about the origins and migration patterns of ancient populations in the Americas. The excavation process was thorough and involved experts from various fields, including radiologists and geneticists. The site is protected under federal laws that prohibit the excavation of Native American remains and grave sites, preserving it as a significant testament to ancient Floridian life. Number 19. The Tollens Valley Battlefield The Tollens Valley Battlefield in northern Germany is an an archaeological site that reveals a violent past dating back to around 1300 to 1200 BC during the Nordic Bronze Age. This discovery challenges the common view of the era as one of peace and cultural exchange, showing instead that it was marked by large-scale violence and organized conflict. The site's discovery began in 1996 when a volunteer conservationist found a humerus bone with a flint arrowhead embedded in it. This was a matter of interest among archaeologists, leading to systematic excavations starting in 2007. These excavations involving local authorities, universities, and research institutions have slowly uncovered the battlefield's historical importance. And by 2017, only a small area of 460 square meters had been excavated, but the findings were significant. Thousands of human remains, mostly of young men aged 20 to 40, show signs of violent deaths. Injuries from arrowheads, spear tips, and clubs paint a picture of a brutal conflict. The range of weaponry found, including bronze swords, wooden mallets, and flint arrowheads, highlights the battle's intensity. Other than that, gold and bronze objects, such as spiraled rings thought to be ingots, have been found, suggesting that the Tollens Valley was part of extensive trade networks and cultural exchanges during the Bronze Age. These artifacts indicate a level of cultural and organizational sophistication in the era. Number 20, 30 Byzantine-era ships. During excavations in Istanbul, the discovery of 30 Byzantine-era ships is not what you might think. Initially thought to be a family burial site, the excavation unearthed a grave dating back to the Neolithic era, around 6,000 years before Istanbul was believed to have been founded around 700. BC. What started as a routine dig turned into a crazy discovery. Further analysis showed the site was much older than previously thought, providing evidence that people lived in the area long before recorded history suggested. This find pushed back the known history of Istanbul by thousands of years, proving early human habitation in the region. The importance of this discovery goes beyond just rewriting history. It shows the crucial role of archaeological digs in revealing the complex history of urban areas and understanding how environmental changes affect human settlements. Istanbul, known for its rich cultural heritage and long history, is the perfect setting for such significant discoveries. And that's all for today. Don't forget to like the video, share it around with your friends and family. See you all in the next one.